Atlanta AP The latest on the college football playoff national football championship game on Monday night all times local, 8.35 p.m. Georgia turned over the ball on its opening possession of the national championship game but came away unscathed after Alabama missed a field goal. Article continues below. Tony Brown wrestled a long pass away from Georgia's Javin Wims to set up the Crimson Tide at their 36. But Alabama failed to come away with points. Andy Papanasto's 35-yard field goal was nullified by a false start, and he pulled his second attempt from 40 yards wide left. The Crimson Tide forced Georgia to punt on its second possession with 9.04 left in the first quarter, 8.20 p.m. The college football playoff national championship game between Alabama 12-1 and Georgia 13-1 is underway at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Frank Beamer, Mac Brown and Matt Stinchcomb, named to the 2018 College Football Hall of Fame on Monday, were on the field for the coin toss along with honorary captains O.J. Howard of Alabama and Herschel Walker of Georgia. Alabama called tails and won the toss and deferred until the second half. They picked off Georgia on the third play from scrimmage. This is the 68th all-time meeting between the Southeastern Conference rivals and first since 2015, when Alabama won 38-10 in the regular season. Alabama is in the title game for the third year in a row and seeking its fifth national title under Saban since 2009. Georgia, led by second-year coach and former Saban assistant Kirby Smart, is looking for its first championship since 1980. The Crimson Tide reached the title game with a 24-6 Sugar Bowl win over Clemson. The Bulldogs advanced with a 54-48 double overtime win over Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl. President Donald Trump is in attendance and was on the field during the National Anthem, 8.15 p.m. President Donald Trump was on the field for the National Anthem before the college football playoff national title game. Trump walked onto the field accompanied by the ROTC units from Georgia and Alabama. He was greeted by mostly cheers from the crowd on hand to the game between Alabama and Georgia. Trump waved to the crowd before the Zac Brown band sang the anthem. Hand placed over his heart, Trump appeared to sing along at times. No players were on the field yet. That's unlike the NFL, where some players this season protested racial injustice by kneeling during the anthem, often drawing Trump's ire, 7.45 p.m. Mercedes-Benz Stadium has a bit of water dripping onto the sideline, seemingly coming from high above the field. Around the 20-yard line on Alabama's side of the field, but off the playing field, a few drops could be spotted falling onto the green artificial turf. A stadium security worker wearing a blue shirt was standing where the water was landing and had wet spots on his shirt. There have been issues with the stadium's signature retractable roof since construction began on the facility. The roof has only been opened once for football since the stadium opened in August, 7.15 p.m. The crowd is trickling into Mercedes-Benz Stadium with the kickoff for Monday night's college football playoff national championship game about an hour away. Alabama native and former NFL star Terrell Owens is among the crowd that navigated the consistent chilly drizzle outside the stadium and security lines to get into the building. Owens, from Alexander City, Alabama, wore a wool-knit crimson tide cap and talked with the ACC network before the contest, telling host Paul Feinbaum that his dream growing up WASNT, the NFL, it was to play for Alabama. If he had, the Crimson Tide might have had another national crown or two in their trophy case. Owens instead played at Chattanooga and was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers in 1996. He had 1,078 catches in 15 seasons with five NFL teams, 6.45 p.m. Alabama radio play-by-play announcer Eli Gold says he has been told that President Trump will be on the Alabama radio network during the college football playoff national championship game between the Crimson Tide and Georgia. Gold says network officials reached out to the White House through the Alabama governor's office last week to request an interview with the president and heard back in the last day or so that Trump agreed to come. Gold says nothing is definitive but if Trump comes on it would like be after the first quarter, 6.30 p.m. Georgia won't be at strength at tight end in its national championship game against Alabama. Sophomore Charlie Warner, who set a career high with three catches in the Bulldogs' Rose Bowl playoff win over Oklahoma last week, was on crutches when the team entered Mercedes-Benz Stadium for Monday night's game. Coach Kirby Smart said Sunday Warner's status was doubtful after the sophomore suffered a leg injury in last week's win, so the crutches were not a big surprise. Warner, listed with Isaac Nauda behind starting tight end Jeb Blazovich, had nine catches for 100 yards this season. Warner is the nephew of former Georgia defensive back and return specialist Scott Warner, a member of the College Football Hall of Fame.
Scott Warner was a standout on Georgia's 1980 national championship team, 3.30 a.m. Number 4 Alabama faces number 3 Georgia in an all-southeastern conference college football playoff national championship game Monday night. Crimson Tide coach Nick Saban tries to tie former Alabama coach Bear Bryant's record six major pole national championships. Saban has led the Tide to four national championships since 2009, and the last three national championship games. Georgia, coached by former Saban assistant Kirby Smart, is looking for its first national championship since 1980. The Bulldogs feature the most prolific running back combination in college football in senior Sony Michel and Nick Chubb. They combined for six two counts in the Bulldogs' semifinal victory against Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl. Alabama has to number one rushing defense in the country and smothered Clemson in the Sugar Bowl semifinal to get here. More at P College Football, http colon slash slash collegefootball.app.org and http colon slash slash www.twitter.com slash app dash top 25.